Well, you guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got word that the gyms in Florida are allowed to open on Monday, May, what's today's date? I don't know. That's when you know you've been in quarantine for too long when you don't even know what today's date is. It is Sunday, May 17th, and the gyms are allowed to open tomorrow on Monday, May 18th. And I have mixed emotions about it. I've been loving at-home workouts, but at the same time, I have been missing the weights a lot. And I heard that a lot of the gyms are going to be opening. However, they're going to be like doing certain precautions. And I think they're only going to allow a certain amount of people in the gym. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but we're going to work with it. So since the gyms are opening and I know that many other gyms are opened all around the United States, um, I decided to film this video in honor of that. I actually wrote a whole entire blog post on this and I titled it, 13 ways to be, I don't even think I can actually say it on YouTube, but S-E-X-Y in the gym. Um, it's just a little play on the words, but they're basically just 13 rules that I truly believe that if you abide, you'll be 10 times sexier. Okay, so I'll leave a link down below to that blog post if you guys want to read it. Um, but if you don't want to read it, watch this whole entire video. Rule number one. Re-rack your weight. You don't understand how annoying it is when I want to go squat, but some dude decided to leave the whole entire squat bar, one, at the highest like level, and two, with like three 45s on each side. I can't reach that, let alone carry all that weight on my tippy toes. Step in someone else's shoes. Would you want to re-rack someone's weight every time you use the machine? I would hope the answer is no. Or would you like to trip over dumbbells because someone was too lazy to put it back? I don't think so. Number two, and this is perfect, especially what's going on in the world and, you know, the gyms are going to be taking extra precautions. Um, I do believe you should be taking extra precautions as well, even if this whole virus thing didn't happen. You should be wiping down your equipment. I hate having to go out of my way to wipe down someone else's sweat because they were too lazy to do it. That's so annoying. So just be courteous and do it for the next person. Number three, don't stare or be creepy. I can spend a whole hour talking about this, you guys, but it is so annoying, you know, squatting or doing deadlifts and there is someone that's being a little creeper and watching me. It is so upsetting, you know, we are there to work out for ourselves. You're not there to stare at someone or be creepy. You know, if you're single and you see someone that's cute, you know, do a little glance. You know, I take a little glance at my husband here, there, but I don't sit there and just stare at him. No, I continue working out. And it's so funny to me that the people that are staring and being creepy, they think that I don't notice. I notice. There's a huge difference between admiring someone and just being plain old creepy. Number four, wear deodorant or put on extra deodorant. I wear deodorant, extra deodorant, and I put lotion on my body because when I sweat, I don't want anyone to get a whiff of my body odor. And you know, let's be real, we all have body odor. I get it, that's part of being a human, but we should take extra precautions so that no one else has to smell it because it is so annoying when I'm working out and someone just walks by and I just get a whiff of their BO and it just bleh. Number five, don't hog the machines. I'm pretty sure 30 minutes is the standard time, um, but I think in my gym, if you're on the cardio machines, I think there's a limit of 20 minutes if all the cardio machines are taken up. So just be mindful of other people waiting. And another thing that kind of irks me is that when people do supersets, they will hog one machine and then go across the whole entire gym and hog another machine. And then you go on the machine that they're not using and they get upset at you. And I get it. I love supersets, you guys. Like, I truly believe in them, but I don't hog the machines. However, if the gym is completely empty and you're allowed to do it, do it. But if the gym is like at peak time and there are a ton of people waiting, I just think you should wait on the supersets. Or do a superset with using a machine and then have dumbbells right next to you so you can still be at that one machine, if that makes sense. So you're not hogging up all these machines. Number six, when there's a million other cardio machines available, do not choose the one right next to someone. If you've ever seen me at the gym or you know me personally, you know that I will choose a cardio machine to do like my warm up. The one that's so far away and no one is near it so that I can be by myself. And even when I do that, there still happens to be that one person, almost 100% of the time it's a guy, that will literally go to the one right next to me. And like I said, I don't care. So I literally will turn off the treadmill and go walk 
to the other end of the treadmill line and go to the farthest one away because I just find it so annoying and again super creepy and even if you're not trying to be creepy and you just want to warm up real fast or do a quick sprint on the treadmill just be mindful of other people I'm sure other people just want to have their own space and if you can go to a machine that's not right next to someone do it number seven stay off your phone and this goes hand in hand with hogging a machine there's people in my gym who will literally sit there on their phone and sit there on the machine for literally over an hour and then there's people who will literally FaceTime their friends at the gym and you hear the whole entire conversation no one wants to hear a conversation if I can hear someone talking on their phone over my headphones that's when you know it's a problem don't get me wrong when I get an important text or a DM in between sets I will take that break and reply back but I'm not there scrolling through social media and hogging a machine. To be honest, you guys, I struggled with this a lot because during my breaks in between sets, I will literally just scroll through social media, see what's going on because I have FOMO. But it wasn't until Sean said, you sit on your phone a lot at the gym. And that was like at the beginning of my fitness journey. Um, but now, like if you struggle with it, I definitely recommend putting your phone on airplane mode and downloading your music to your phone so that you can get out of the habit of checking your phone and just sitting on it. So the next tip, number eight, is in my opinion, but it is keep unsolicited advice to yourself. Unless you're a trainer at the gym, no one likes to be told how to do something or what to do by a complete stranger at the gym. This used to happen at the beginning of my fitness journey and I think there was this one time I was doing kickbacks and this lady who was like much older than me was like, you should be extending your leg this way. And then she was like, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I have big glutes. She said it very nicely, but at the same time, like it was kind of embarrassing, especially since I was at the beginning of my fitness journey and I'm still learning. And when you learn, you make mistakes. And for a stranger to tell me something that I was doing something wrong, it kind of like shot down my confidence in some way. You know, when I see another girl who especially is at the beginning of their fitness journey and they're doing a workout different than how I would do it, I don't go up to them and tell them how to do it my way. Because I know that when you're starting your fitness journey, like I said, you're going to make mistakes, you're learning, and I shouldn't shove it in someone's face that they're doing it wrong. So yeah, this is just in my opinion. Number nine, don't work out in front of the dumbbell rack. If you ever wonder why there's like a whole mirror in front of the dumbbell rack at your gym, it's because a lot of people like to watch themselves work out and that sounds kind of weird, but it allows you to make sure that your form is good. Um, so when someone is going to step right in front of the mirror so that you can't see yourself to make sure that your form is on point, that is a no-no. That is so annoying. And also, if you're blocking the rack and someone needs a weight where you're doing your bicep curls, for example, they shouldn't have to wait for you. And I have to deal with that every single time I go to the gym. So just step aside and do your workouts there. Number 10, don't drop your weights. I completely get it when you are deadlifting and you're on the last rep. You can't avoid slamming your weights. I completely understand that. But if you are doing like bicep curls and on your last rep you just decide to drop those weights because you want to be dramatic, I don't even know. Um, one, that's very dangerous. And two, it is pretty loud. You know, in my opinion, I'm in the middle of agreeing and disagreeing when it comes to slamming your weights why i disagree with it is because if you're on that last rep you shouldn't just like drop all your weight and just slam it i think that you should be very slowed and controlled and then let go um and i feel like that's more beneficial when it comes to muscle growth that is in my opinion if some person just decides to drop it and someone's walking by and that dumbbell lands on their foot Mm -mm. So I definitely recommend on your last rep, just do slow and controlled movements and then let go. Try not to slam it. If you have to slam it, it's okay. People do it at the gym, but don't be obnoxious about it. Number 11, make sure you know how to use a machine beforehand. Have you ever seen like those viral videos of like people using a machine completely wrong? I have experienced that many times at the gym. Not personally, I've seen it. Most machines have like a little visual showing like how to use the machine, but if your gym doesn't have that, I definitely recommend just asking a trainer and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to show you how to use it, but you never just wanna figure it out on your own because it can look a little silly and it can distract others. So look for a visual. If not, YouTube it real fast. Don't sit on your phone or ask a trainer there and they'll be more than happy to show you. Number 12. Stop playing your music for everyone to hear. Like I said, if I can hear your music over my music, 
that is a problem. Not everyone likes country music while working out or death metal, okay? So please keep your music to yourself. You can literally buy cheap earbuds at Walmart for like five bucks. I had this one person at my gym who literally had like those backpack stereos and would walk around the gym working out blasting rap music. And you know, many people got very frustrated at that. <laughs> and last but not least, Keep the moaning and groaning to a minimum. If you want to avoid moaning and groaning, just breathe through your reps, you guys. There's no need for a little huff and puff and oomph in every rep. <laughs> Here's a little story. I was working out with a friend and we were at the free weight squat rack and there is this guy that was next to us, an older guy. And there is another guy who was just moaning and groaning through every rep you guys like everyone kept turning around and looking at him because it was so loud and so the guy next to my friend and I literally looked at us and said I don't even sound like that when I'm having a good time and my friend and I literally died we were laughing so hard because it's just it's just a little awkward to hear that at the gym. So try to keep it to a minimum, you guys. So that is it for my 13 rules for the gym, you guys. I know for sure at the beginning of my fitness journey, I broke about half of these rules. So we're not perfect. I've done it before, but let's just try to abide by them. Especially since, you know, gyms are opening. People are still gonna be a little bit nervous getting to the gym. So let's try to keep it less awkward, less intimidating, and more sanitary. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys got a little laugh, um, but also take it a little bit seriously. If you guys have any other gym rules that you want to let me know, comment down below and I'll love to hear those. Um, or if you agree to any of these rules, comment down below and say yes, girl. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.